Hi, this is Joan Marie Domino, and I have a showcase of some of Vippy's Designs' newest napkins, Vippy's Designs Decoupage Napkin Shop, www.vippies.com. Including their newest napkins, I have some beautiful vintage napkins. These have just gone into their shop already, and these are authentic. 30, 40, 50 years ago, they're always very, very popular, but they are limited, so make sure you like and follow Vippy's on Facebook and Instagram. So what do you do with all these beautiful napkins? Well, you can create decor. If you are a card maker, you would love these napkins. Any type of paper crafting, you can use these beautiful napkins along with Mod Podge. I have also included some of my favorite products. I use these all the time. You will see them in all of my videos. I've got ideas for decor and for gifts. And I also have two bonus DIYs that I have included in this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Decoupage DIY with Joan Marie Domino. Like and follow me on Facebook and Instagram. I'm going to start with the vintage napkins. And the first one, it's a Christmas napkin. It has the three candles. And I'm going to hold it up and give you the best description I can. It's like an off-white background. The texture is kind of crinkly, and it is a crepey, rather. It is a single ply. And when I open it up, you can see that the one panel has the three candles, and then there's a really nice red and green border that runs all the way along. But honestly, I think this is one I would just put it in a frame. Okay, my next napkin, also Christmas, a little bit smaller, um, also single ply, white background, has a little bit, again, of a crepey feeling with a really pretty scallop edge. I'm going to open it up so that you can see the holly kind of makes a frame, so I would think maybe putting something right in the middle of that frame. This is a beautiful napkin with Santa on. I'm going to hold it up because the printing on this is very well done. It is a Hallmark card. There is the copyright back there. And, of course, their stuff is always really, really well made. Um, I believe this is either a two or maybe three-ply napkin. I'm going to open it up so you can see the whole napkin. And what's typical of napkins from like 30, 40 years ago is you're only going to have one panel that is printed. But, boy, that is so pretty. Now, what I thought is because of his shape, and I actually had this little tin can right by me, it's like a perfect fit for this Santa. I think that's like from tomato paste, I'm going to say, but this napkin would fit perfect on a small tin, and you could put a few candy canes in there. It would be so cute. The next couple of napkins are so special. I could not wait to show these to you. All right, so this this is Cinderella. She's beautiful. She's all dressed, ready to go to the ball. But this napkin, it's so different. All of the panels are printed. On this panel is Cinderella, and of course, she's got the glass slipper, and it fits, which is a good thing because of all the trouble she went through the night before, you know, at the ball. But anyway, the fairy godmother came, and I'm going to show you what how this story plays out on this napkin. All right. So when you open it up, you can see, stay with me, stay with me, that on one side, the little mice are there with the pumpkin. Okay, but then, you know, the fairy godmother came, got Cinderella all glammed up, and now you have the mice are now horse-driven carriage. This is the most adorable napkin I think I have ever seen. I have another one, kind of like a princess, but I'm going to hold it up so you can see. It does say Sweet 16, and there she is in a pretty pink dress. This is a crepey kind of background, and it has some uh, flowers embossed and flowers printed on it. It's like an off-white color, and I'm going to open it up so that you can see that. The Sweet 16 girl is on one panel, and the rest is all flowers, and I'm going to say... Like with the Cinderella one, I think you can just frame that maybe for your daughter or your granddaughter. It's so pretty. Okay, now this is not a vintage napkin. However, right now there's a movie out for a fashion model doll from 
the 50s, okay? It's very, very popular. So I pulled this napkin out because I thought if anything reminded me of this fashion doll, it would definitely be this napkin with the pearls and the sparkles. So if you're looking for a napkin that kind of goes along with this movie, this one would be perfect. This next group of napkins are napkins that are for Christmas and they have cardinals on them. I'm gonna show each of them to you. And cardinals are very popular. Cardinals have a special meaning to many of us, you know, when you see one in the yard, and that's why they're so popular with many of us. Now, Vippy's always has cardinals in stock. Even when it's not Christmas, you could just go in and look in the Christmas category and you will see some cardinals. I'm going to start with this one. I'm going to open it up. And you can see that all six panels are printed. Oh, that's a lot of cardinals. So I thought making the little tea lights, I have a video on this where I use mulberry paper. This napkin would be perfect for that. And I'm going to put that link below so you can watch. This is another buffet size or long. I like call them the long ones or guest size. And I'm going to open it up so that you can see. All six panels are printed and there's three cardinals on each panel. I'm going to hold it up so you can see they're very well done. Have a nice light green background. This is a lunch size napkin. I'm going to show it to you. It says warm winter wishes. Got an ivory background. That cardinal's a little different and there's also planking in the back and when you open it all four panels are printed. Now this cardinal napkin, um, it looks more like a watercolor. And when you open this up, I love this. You're gonna actually have two panels that open up together and give you what's called a panoramic look. So nothing is cut off on the fold. I have a project idea for you and I use these round wood blanks. They're also from Vippy's Designs and I use this napkin and I created this beautiful sign on the round woods and I did that using the iron-on method and then I just added some of the berries going all the way around and I will put the link below so you can watch my DIY and learn how to use the iron-on method and create beautiful signs. Now, staying with the bird theme, I pulled out some other birdie napkins like this one. Um, it's a nice winter scene and they're there surrounding. It looks like a few deer and I believe that's a pheasant down there. And all four panels are printed. This has some birdies sitting on a wire heart and it looks like they're eating because they're hungry and it's winter. <laughs> anyway, so it's got a really pretty pale blue background. And when you open it up, all four panels are printed. Now, this little robin, this actually almost looks like a photograph. Um, you can see with the snow and the evergreen there. And I believe, yes, all four panels are printed. Here's another robin, and he is standing in the snow. And I love how the snow looks glittery, even without the glitter. It's such a pretty napkin. And when I open it up, you're going to see that all four panels are printed. So last year, I decoupaged a tile. I'm gonna show it to you with a napkin that says peace and joy, but you don't have to use that exact napkin to do this tile. All you need to have is a napkin that will fit and this little birdie napkin would fit perfectly. So I've got a quick little video I'm gonna show you now, and then I will give you the link to the longer version so that you can make one of these tiles too. I started with an ordinary white ceramic tile. I gave it a couple of coats of white chalk paint, let it dry, a couple of coats of Mod Podge, and I let that dry. Then I used the top printed ply of the napkin. I put it down on top, and then I used the iron-on method to adhere the napkin to the tile. Once it was cooled, I sanded off the extra tile. Then I covered it all with Mod Podge Extreme Glitter. Then I also added some of this beautiful fake snow. Once that was dry, I went ahead and I added some door clear gloss protectant, make it nice and shiny. And then to top it off, I added a few of these rhinestones just to make it nice and sparkly. So pretty, and I used a little easel to display it. Decoupaging tiles like this, it's fun and it makes a great gift. I put the longer length video link below and now I'm going to show you some of the products I used in that video, but I use these all the time. And one is the Dora Clear Sealant. This protects your projects. It has low odor and it's a brush on. Love that. 
One of my favorite Mod Podge formulas is the Extreme Glitter. And it's basically Mod Podge, but it's got the glitter in there already. And it does a beautiful job. Look at all that sparkle. It's very delicate, but a really beautiful way to enhance your projects. And this is my Cricut Craft Iron. This is what I use when I do the iron-on method. It has an on and off switch, and there's three different heat settings. And I like that it comes with this little dish that I can rest it in. Now, my sister gave this to me, I'm going to say, about three years ago. She said, you're doing the iron-on method. You need to have a crafting iron. So I definitely recommend it. And by the way, if you don't have these yet to wrap up your cords, I cannot recommend them enough. They're Velcro. They do a great job. I'm going to give you a links for all four of these products below. I'm back with more napkins and of course this is some more birds and this has a I guess kind of a folk art look to it with that rust color and the grays behind it and when you open it up all four panels are printed. Next up is some more birds of course I'm doing a birdie theme and there's two of them there and they're sitting on some snow covered thistle. It's got like a tannish background I don't know if you can see it almost like a polka dot and when you open it up all four panels are printed. Now here's another napkin it kind of has that realistic almost photograph look to it I'm going to hold it up it's got a nice light blue background and snow on the berries and when you open it up all four panels are printed. My next one is a bike. How did a bike get in there? I don't know. There's no bird there. No, wait, there's a bird. See, I wasn't going to show you a napkin with that little birdie on it. And when you open it up, all four panels are printed. Now, this next napkin is so cute. Look at it. It's five geese and they're running. They're so cute. I love that background. It's all snowy. And the, look at the little ties they have on. And when you open it up, all four panels are printed. Now, this is a nice winter scene. So it doesn't necessarily have to be Christmas. And you can see that there's a couple of deer in the forest. And it's got nice shades of green for the evergreen and, of course, the snow. And when you open it up, all four panels are printed. So pretty. I have another project idea for you and this time I'm using a glass plate. I got this from the Dollar Tree and I already added some sparkle on it but I'm going to show you what you can do with this and this is actually a good beginner's project. So this is a napkin I got from Vippy's Designs and what I did is I used just the deer part. I'm going to hold it up so that you can see just in the center and that's what makes it a good beginner's project because you're not going to try to cover the entire plate now if you would like to try making one of these cookie plates go to my youtube channel i'll give you the link below and i'll have the link for the beginner's version down there for you and you can use a napkin like this one it says christmas tweets and that would fit perfectly in the center of the glass and then you can make one of these and it would be really good for christmas treats right christmas tweets christmas treats anyway it's a great project i'll put the link below and with this napkin all four panels are printed i hope you're still with me after that christmas treats tweets plate anyway so this is a beautiful holly napkin um there's lots of frost on the berries and uh, i would definitely finish off a project if i use this napkin with lots and lots of glitter Here's a beautiful deer. I'm going to hold it up so you can see that he has a crown of evergreens and holly berries. So pretty. Look how cute that face is. I love it. And Vippy's Designs actually has this, I believe, in the smaller size as well. And when you open it up, all four panels are printed. Very pretty. This napkin to me has a very vintage look to it. It's like a line drawing, uh, black and white with shades of teal just kind of washed across it. And there's a cabin up there in the mountains. And when you open it, all four panels are printed. And I'm telling you, that's an exquisite napkin. Now, here's another napkin that's completely different. We have Santa in there in his red truck and he's got all his stuff there. And I'm gonna open it up so that you can see that with this napkin, all four panels are printed and it has a continuous print or what's also called a panoramic. Nothing is cut off at the seams. I'm going to fold up this napkin and I want to show you a project from last year. This is the napkin that I used. It's very cute. It has like gnomes on it, Nordic. 
and I decoupage it onto a wood slice. I'm going to show it to you. That's what it looks like. It's like a natural wood slice. It made a really nice ornament. Now, you can use other napkins to make um, ornaments as well, like this Santa in the red truck. And you could do a bunch of them, and it would fit perfect on these wood slices. This one is really perfect because it's rustic, just like the slice of wood. And that would make a lovely ornament as well. So last year, I made this ornament. And I have a full length video for you, but right now I'm going to give you a quick peek. All right, this is the napkin that I used, and with decoupage, we only used the top printed ply. I added some paint to the wood slice and I let it dry. Then I did a deckled edge, a water tear on the napkin. I put some Mod Podge right onto the wood slice. Then I took the little piece of napkin and I gently put it down with my fingers. When I was done, I added some fake snow all the way around, give it a nice wintry look, and I also added some glitter. Came out really pretty, beautiful sparkly ornament. I have the full length video for that. I'm going to link it below so that you can watch it. And there's other projects too. Now that snow was so much fun to work with. And you know, Christmas is coming up and these little wooden slices make great ornaments. I put the link below and they come with little eyelets. Okay, now, Onto the snow because like I said, we've got Christmas projects we're working on now. I love the snow text. I found it did a really good job. I'm going to open this up so that I can show it to you. It's very fluffy. Looks like snow. I've got my craft knife here and it was very, very easy to work with. And after I used it, I always let it dry and put glitter on top. It was very sparkly. This is 16 ounce, but it comes in smaller sizes too. And if you're interested in these, I put the links below. What a beautiful selection of napkins Bippies has. These are just some of the napkins that they had. I kind of stuck with the birdie theme on this, but they have napkins, many napkins for Christmas, for Easter, all different times of the year. They've always got them in their napkin shop, www.bippies.com. Bippies Designs has a line of vintage napkins. So these are real vintage napkins from 30, 40, 50 years ago. And they put them on from time to time. They usually will make an announcement on their Facebook page. So remember to like and follow them on Facebook and Instagram. I'd love to give you some project ideas and DIYs when I do a napkin showcase for Vippy's Designs. And my YouTube channel is filled with DIYs, like making these little tea lights with mulberry paper and Mod Podge. Make sure you go and subscribe, Decoupage DIY with Joe Marie Domino. Give me a thumbs up, share with your friends, and don't forget to hit the little notification button, and then you'll know every time I have a new video where I show you new products. And remember, like and follow me on Facebook and on Instagram as well. Thank you so much for joining me, and I'll see you again soon.